Mark, yeah. what is the Cheeky Cafe? This is just the, the find of, of our crew that, you know, there's a lot of places around Seattle and throughout the state of Washington and British Columbia, everywhere you are. You just got to get out and explore and drive around. So we did. And uh, basically, kind of a festive name. Yeah, and we were basically in the international district of all places. Found oh, a cheeky cafe. Cute. What a comfort food. Think of a family, everybody going every direction, but then one day decided what would happen if we opened up a restaurant. You ready? This is what happens. Fun recipes, and where do you see Brian's bacon meatloaf? Oh, yes. okay, all right. Watch Let's everybody. Go. Cafe, and we're on South Jackson Street here in the Central District of Seattle, real close to the stadium. So keep that in mind as we're about to meet our good friend Brian C. here, head chef at the Cheeky Cafe. Looking at your menu alone, comfort food is what I see. Yeah. For our viewers, from one end to the other, tell us basically what we're going to get here. Homemade, by the way. Well, we got our comfort food is all spans of different ethnicities: uh, Asian, uh, Italian, American. Uh, and we do a lot of different things, and today we're going to be doing the meatloaf. So, the meatloaf, something meatloaf. that I just slap together, throw in the oven, and that's it. Maybe and a few spices, it. but yep, you're going to make this really good? Absolutely. Show us how. All right. Well, we're going to start off with uh, some onions. You usually take uh, one and a half uh, medium onions. The environment I get here is really a family operation. You take pride in your work. Everybody loves what they do. This I'm seeing is a hidden treasure. All my life I've been here. I didn't know yeah. up here in the Central District we had the Cheeky Cafe and great home-cooked food. Absolutely. We, had, we make everything from scratch, uh, even into your, your pancakes, the meatloaf, mm -hmm. uh, even our dressings. We, do, we make ourselves here. We started off with the onions there. And then what I usually do next is just add all the... Uh, all, all the ingredients except for uh, the bacon and the actual meat itself. So we got breadcrumbs, which okay. is actually we made from leftover bread that we have. We actually you make your we own. make our own breadcrumbs. <laughs> and the shredded cheese. Now the hot sauce, we actually have a special hot sauce that we buy from uh, a local person here. Mm. Ours is decently spicy because of this hot sauce itself. Um, but if you don't like it as spicy, you can use a different kind of spice that you know that you're going to like. Okay. Or just use a, a, less of a, a less amount. Okay. I can smell this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here comes the kick. This is the Worcestershire sauce. And I already pre-mixed the salt and pepper, but it's the salt and pepper. And then this is a... Uh, on the recipe, you can see that there's bacon that you don't cut up into small pieces. So actually what we did is I would cut it. If that was the original length of the bacon, I would cut it into thirds okay. and cut one thirds into half the long way. And we'll see well, why we use that later. But okay. the rest of it, we'll go ahead and pop it in there. And you cut these up really small as we yep, can see Yep, just kind of dice it up small so that it mixes in together real well. Right, You've got my this. curiosity on this one. <laughs> and then I just usually mix this up real quick, just so that everything's kind of mixed in and so that it's not, some bites of meatloaf are really spicy and some are not. How did you get into cooking? I just, I uh, always enjoyed watching my mom cook when I grew up. Uh, and I always, uh, you know, I would just come down and watch her cook dinner for us when uh, we were kids. So, and I just, my mom's food's awesome. Very cool. And uh, I've always loved her cooking. Uh, and that just struck me, and I'm like, I, maybe that's what I want to do. That's what I'm doing. I, I oh, really you enjoy, enjoy food. <laughs> I do enjoy it here. Yeah. So this is the ground beef. Uh, what I usually do is I just kind of break it up into smaller pieces so that it mixes together a little bit quicker. Is it important when we're going for the ground beef for a meatloaf to pay attention to the fat content? I, this looks pretty lean. If you don't want as much fat, you probably want to go closer to like probably 90-10. Uh, I probably wouldn't go lower than 90-10 because it might make it so that the meatloaf is dry, probably. So and how you're breaking it all up. I would think just throw the big chunk in there and mix everything to the chunk. But this is well, why we watch KCTS 9 yeah. Cooks and learn these things. It, you can do it the other way, but it, I, I just think that it takes a little bit longer to mix in mm -hmm. completely and, to, uh, and well, because we're going to have to mix it up real well, otherwise it's going to fall apart. Mm 
what I'm doing now is I'm just working it really good until all of the ingredients that are inside, like the onions, the cheese, and everything, uh, stick together. And usually I just mix it until for about anywhere from three to five minutes. That way it's really incorporated, and that way it'll make sure that it uh, holds together well when after it's cooked. My vision of meatloaf, I'm thinking, you know, the, the great dinners of the 1950s. Or every, <laughs> every family's got their meatloaf, but yeah. Wow, this is really, this is really coming together nicely, Brian. You can kind of see that everything's more looks like it's more inside and not kind of mm -hmm. bulging out. All right, pass me that pan right over there. Those right here. Yep, that one right there. Oh. Um, so this is the pan that we use. We use it's our bread pan. Um, you can use any other pan that you have. Um, this is just the one we use, so it's a good portion size for us. Mm -hmm. um, now, what I usually do at this point, I just take a, take some and I'll just form it, kind of make sure that there's no air pockets. Just go ahead and, oops, that one's a little bit big. That's okay. We like a big portion. <laughs> you shouldn't like home cooking, big portions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few pieces of bacon, um, some cut into half, some cut in holes, and usually at this point what I do is I'll just lay one half and one hole over the, that pan of meatloaf. Uh, and you haven't seasoned cars. the bacon, it's just straight bacon? Nope, it's just straight Cut bacon. It over. Yep. All right. And also, while it's cooking, the bacon grease drips into the, the meatloaf itself, also making it more flavorful and uh, juicy at the end. So na next what we're going to do is we're just going to we're gonna cover it with foil, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour to hour and a half. There she comes. All right. And it's all done. Chica Cafe. Bacon meatloaf. Wow. As I said earlier, we serve it three different ways. First one. Oh boy. So our meatloaf, meatloaf dinner plate, the meatloaf, mm -hmm. our roasted vegetables, our rice, and this is our house-made barbecue sauce. And this is reason for me to take a bite. I'm not Absolutely. waiting any longer here, Brian. <laughs> here we go, everybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hidden treasure, right here. This is proof, and he still has two more to go. All right. And this is our second one. It's our uh, meatloaf sandwich. Mm -hmm. So it's the meatloaf. We have uh, the sweet potato fries, and we also put a little bit of barbecue sauce in that as well. Right on. All right. And our last one. Thank you, Wendy. Cousin Wendy. Okay. Look at that. It's our meatloaf locomoco. And this one is it's a bed of rice, uh, the meatloaf, mm -hmm. and our gravy that's actually made from the drippings from our meatloaf. And then we put a fried egg on top of that. One meatloaf recipe. I love it here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Y'all, this is great. Brian C. here at the Cheeky Cafe, South Jackson Street in the Central District of Seattle. Brian C., head chef, loves to cook because he used to hang out with mom. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing the recipe. Thank you. We'll come see you again. All right, sounds good.